Interesting facts about Burundi Burundi is a landlocked country in East Africa. It is bordered by Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east and south, and Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west. The terrain here is mostly hilly and mountainous, dropping to plateau in the east. Burundi was first colonized by Germany at the beginning of the 20th century and the Belgians after the First World War. Burundi is overwhelmingly rural, with just about 13% of the population residing in urban areas. It is a developing country with poor infrastructure and amenities. The three parks in the country, Kibira, Rusuzu and Ruvubu National Parks, are under intense pressure from the growing population that has led to soil erosion, deforestation and habitat loss. Poverty, weak infrastructure, corruption, poor access to education and healthcare, malnutrition, political instability and unemployment are the major problems faced by Burundians. Nonetheless, there are some interesting facts about this country that you probably didn't know of. But before we go any further, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Without any further ado, here are some interesting facts about Burundi. Number 10. Poorest nation to win an Olympic title Venuste Nyongabo won the 5000 meters gold medal during the 1996 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia to become the first Burundian national ever to win a gold medal at the Olympics. Burundi became the poorest nation ever to win the Olympic title and finished the series above Argentina, India, Mexico and Taiwan. Unfortunately, the country hasn't won any medals since then. Number 9. Capital shifted from Bujumbura to Gitega In January 2019, the parliament of Burundi voted to move the capital city from Bujumbura to Gitega to promote urbanization and infrastructural development. Bujumbura had served as capital since independence. The move was first proposed in 2007 by President Pierre Nkurunziza. Gitega is a city of about 120,000 compared to more than a million in Bujumbura and critics argue that it is too small to serve as the capital. Number 8. Gustav the gigantic man-eating crocodile is from Burundi. Gustav is an enormous crocodile in Burundi. He is believed to be the biggest crocodile in the world at over 18 feet and 2,000 pounds. Gustav reigns terror along the banks of the Ruzizi River and the northern shores of Lake Tanganyika, where he is believed to have killed more than 300 people. Although he is yet to be captured, he has been sighted severely by the locals. The crocodile is 64 years old, which is about the median age considering that now crocodiles can live up to 100. Number 7. High Population Density Burundi is a small but densely populated country. It is slightly smaller than the state of Hawaii but with 8 times the population. It is the 20th most densely populated country in the world. The number of people owning more than an acre of land in the country is quite small, making it challenging to practice sustainable farming to feed the nation. Number 6. Burundi suffers from severe malnutrition. A majority of Burundians rely on tubers and stashy cereals. Corn is the staple food. The Hutu make up to 80% of the population, but their culture does not include keeping livestock and are therefore dependent only on plant-based food. This means less protein in their diet, exposing the country to malnutrition and kwashiorkor. Number 5. Cattle equates to wealth in Burundi. Burundians love their cows, not only for the meat and milk, but because cows are traditionally a show of wealth. Regardless of your economic status, as long as you have a cow, then you are a rich person in Burundi. The more cows you have, the better your social status. Funny, right? Number 4. 
Indigenous people are a minority in the country. Burundi is one of the few African countries whose modern boundaries remain similar to those of the ancient kingdoms. The Twa people are the original settlers, but currently make up less than 1% of the population. The Hutus arrived about 500 years ago and comprise 85%, while the Tutsis arrived much later and account for 13%. Number 3. Beer and straw culture in Burundi Burundians love their traditional alcoholic drinks, just like any other conventional African setup. The traditional beer is drunk by sitting circularly and placing a pot at the center. More than a dozen people then use straws to sip the brew. The unique habit has shifted to the modern generation and is common to find people using straws in bars. Number 2. Ubumwe, Ibikowa, Iterambere This national slogan translates to unity, work, progress. But ironically, unity and progress have been elusive since independence. The country is divided along political and ethnic lines, with the majority Hutu dominating over the minorities. Agriculture accounts for about 80% of the labor force, but it is practiced at a subsistence level that does not make a significant economic impact. Number 1. Internet access is very poor. At the start of the decade, about 1.2% of the population of Burundi had access to the internet. Although the number has quadrupled to about 4.5%, the figure is significantly lower as compared to the continent's average of 39% and the global average of 53%. Most Burundians have no access to a mobile internet, while internet cafes are limited to towns and cities. In a country where 80% of the population lives in a rural setting. Here is a little bonus for staying up until this point in our video. In addition to the facts mentioned above, these bonuses might catch your attention. You cannot go on a morning run with your friends and family in Burundi. In 2014, the country's president banned group jogging as it was seen as an opportunity to plan anti-government activities. Okay, that's weird. Media is severely restricted in Burundi and is dominated by state-run outlets. Journalists operate under strict laws and regularly face harassment. Many radio stations were shot after a 2015 coup attempt. The country is also one of the unhappiest in the world. In 2019, Burundi ranked 145th in the World Happiness Report released by the UN. That's just sad. In conclusion, even though the country remains in shambles, it has a lot to offer in terms of beauty and nature. The small space covers such scenic beauty in it that it can leave you thrilled and amazed. Grasslands, forests and lakes are what make up Burundi. There you have it the stories, some interesting facts about Burundi. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave